I always imagine history as not being in a timeline, but being in layers, that it builds on itself. My name is Zulfa Ali Bhutto, Zulfi for short, and I'm from Pakistan. I'm mixed Pakistani Lebanese descent, and a lot of my work deals with that very bridge of identity. So how much that identity is formed by violence, both on the level of, of sort of historic violence, colonialism, but also how that violence has been continued by the state. The piece behind me, it's one of a larger installation in which I printed onto cotton fabric images of 52 men, 52 martyrs, people who died in conflict. Cotton is relevant in my context because when we die as Muslims, we are buried not in a coffin, but in a cotton shroud. I reference back the traditions of mourning, traditions of remembrance, but also traditions of letting go. History is an interesting thing to play with because it, it in itself is a game. It's constantly being played with and it's constantly being rewritten. The feeling like an outsider in both my home countries really kind of got me curious in investigating what that actually means. My name is Francis Kalimlim and I am a mixed media artist working in San Francisco. I'm interested in exploring specific materials that really engage and interrogate what it means to be a Filipino-American living today. I was born in Quezon City, Philippines. I moved here when I was three years old uh, to San Diego, but all my life I've essentially gone back and forth. It all really started with the Balik Bayan box, which translates to a care package essentially. This served as like the initial vehicle that kind of led me on this trajectory to explore what it means to transition back and forth. So I started trying to bridge both the body and the box and it ended up culminating into a huge installation that featured 138 drawings. Three pieces feature the application of baby oil on archival heavyweight paper. Because baby oil does not dry, it'll forever move through the fabric. With the light source revealing that change over time, it was essentially making this bridge to talk about the light of identity and that we are temporal in nature. And eventually, we have the potential to be something completely new. To me, it's something that stays in my head. Understanding that humor can be used in a subversive way, a way in which an audience can feel engaged and questioned in a more playful way. My name is Marcela Pardo Arisa. Um, I'm a visual artist and event organizer um, from Colombia, but I'm living and working in San Francisco. I'm interested in exploring ideas of queerness, of how something is supposed to behave, and assuming that there's an unexpected path that one has to follow, but questioning that. I use a lot of humor in my work. Most of it comes from both of my parents being uh, involved in theater and in comedy and doing puppets sometimes and building their own things. This idea of the broom being altered in this strange way is a way for me to explore the breaking of a line. The title, like, Trouble Sweeping, implies that there is something that goes beyond an action or an object. I feel like I've found my own set of opportunities that have given me some tools that I was craving for. Being able to create the shows at Swell Gallery while also having these kind of mentors was like looking up to and collaborating with them. That to me has been one of the biggest parts of SFAI. 